your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the infamous child tax credit. But guys, we got food tax credits that is on the horizon. That's right. You can get a check for the cost of your food. We also have where some states are making their own permanent child tax credit. We have $550 refund checks that go out today and a whole lot more. So if you want to know where you can get the money at this tax season, my darling, you've come to the right place. All you have to do is stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below and you're in just like that and while you're at it go ahead and give me a like especially if you love me creating this content for you now if you are not an amazon prime member you can try out amazon prime completely free on me all you have to do is click the link above in the cards or down in the description box below and y'all you in there like swimwear now you guys have to give me a round of applause or my husband a round of applause because he bought me these roses right ahead of valentine's day now he doesn't know that yellow roses mean friendship but hey i'll take it we've been married it'll be 13 years this year so i like it let me know what do you guys think now let's go ahead and talk about the child tax credit because honey this bill has been in the senate now for the past few weeks and let's keep it real we need the money i mean with things going up like food costs inflation raising in rent them cutting the federal pandemic aid we need all the money that we can get back this tax season whether it's in the form of a food rebate a tax credit however you get it baby we want it all right so right now where are we at with the child tax credit because we all know that congressional lawmakers they are closing on that deal that will partially revive president biden's expanded tax credit for lower income families in exchange for extending tax incentives that are favored by business interests. Now, we all know like at the end of January, the House of Representatives, they end up passing a bill that would expand the federal child tax credit. Now, a lot of people, I told you guys to go ahead and file your taxes. You filed your taxes, great, right? But the bill still has to pass through the Senate where it's not guaranteed to win approval, but it's going to get something like that, right? Or so they say. Now, right now, the maximum child tax credit is $2,000 per qualifying child under the age of 17. And I've read your comments like, girl, I'm already getting $2,000. I filed my taxes. Ma'am, sir, you did not receive the full $2,000 if you already filed your taxes because right now, only $1,600 of that money is refundable. Now, we all know that if they do pass the bill, the new bill of the child tax credit, it is $1,800 for 2023. So on bare minimum, you're going to get at least another $200 per child, if not more. Now, we also noticed that a lot of those programs, it didn't have anything in there for people who didn't have children, as well as my seasoned seniors. And this is where your girl comes in right okay this is where i'm coming in now in some of my previous videos i talked about states expanding but i also have something for my seniors as well so stay tuned we're going to have some different programs that will help out my seasoned seniors as well as those that file taxes and have no children or even maybe you don't file taxes at all but let's go ahead and start with some of the state programs because in illinois their child tax credit is among the new legislative proposals this session. So right now, while they're still waiting for the child tax credit in Illinois, last year they had their own bill that they brought before Congress as well. Now they decided to go ahead and scale back their original version, but they say that this will still reduce child poverty and spur economic growth in Illinois. So this is a proposal in the House Bill 4917 and Senate Bill 3329, which would create a $300 per child refundable tax credits for families who earn less than the state's medium income, which is about $75,000 a year for couples or $50,000 for single parents. Now, let me go ahead and tell you, $300 per child, that is still lower than the other states that I've talked about that have their own rebates. Because I think right now it's like 15 states that have similar policies or child tax credits. Um, we have like Utah, Minnesota, Oregon. 
they all had a similar credit, but they all offered more like $1,000 or more in credits. So in Illinois, the chief Senate sponsor of this proposal, he said that the hope, he hopes that the program, if passed, it can be scaled up in the future. And they kind of want to move it more towards like Minnesota, where right now they're giving parents $1,750 for every child under the age of 18. Like Minnesota is rocking right now. Like people are getting like $8,000 back from their state taxes. And they're providing this tax credit on a per child basis. And it only takes like one additional form to apply. So that's what we have going on in Illinois. But don't forget in Michigan, refund checks come out today. So today, beginning February 13th, more than 700,000 Michigan families, they will receive tax rebate checks that are averaging $550. So Big Gretch, she announced these rebates, I want to say like a few months ago, and we've been kind of talking about it where it was part of her $1 billion in tax cuts that she signaled into law earlier this year as well. So that is supposed to like decrease taxes on retirement income as well. But if you are a Michigan resident, um, you don't have to submit like any other additional paperwork to receive the tax credit. This is part of the tax credit from 2022. So the Department of Treasury will automatically process checks for those who did submit their 2022 tax return and confirm eligibility as well for the additional state credit. So checks are going to be mailed out on a rolling basis as soon as they are printed, but it's estimated to take between five and six weeks to print and distribute all payments. But just keep an eye on your mailbox because guys, you can receive them. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and move on because some states are offering a grocery tax credit that helps offset taxes that are paid throughout the year. So like, for example, in Colorado, they have the Durango food tax rebate and utility refund program, and they are taking applications right now as we speak. So the Durango of uh, the city of Durango, they have this food and tax rebate and utility fund. It's open now. So if you live within those limits or the city limits, you can apply for the rebate. Now, the application deadline for this is July 5th. But there are qualifications that residents must meet before you are eligible for these rebates as well or the refunds. So residents with a total household income um, that is equal to or less than 50% of the area median income in the La Planta County, then you will qualify for this rebate or refund. And then it's also determined like by your family size the press release it does have to have the income for like all your family members as well and they have it where it's based on like size income and then corresponding rebates so it had where like a resident of a one person household that can make up to about like thirty six thousand four hundred dollars you will receive an eligible food tax rebate as well as like a person with a two person household i think you can make up to about forty one thousand dollars but then you can get a two hundred and seventy two dollar rebate and then like if you had three or more that totaled less than 46,000, then you were able to receive a $307 rebate. Now the households that consist of four or more and all those people like they earn less than $51,950, then you can receive $367. So residents can find like the food and tax rebate as well as the utility refund application you can go to Durango CO, like Durango, Colorado, .gov. You can print it out, complete the form, and then submit that form back to City Hall as well. But also in Colorado, they have where Greeley residents, they have where they can apply for a $100 reimbursement per person for taxes that were made on food purchases in 2023, as well as they're giving $100 per household credit to your utility account. Now, the applications for this one in Greenlee started being accepted on February 1st, and they will go through May 31st. You only need to complete one application, and it goes for both programs for Greeley as well. So you can check that out. But a lot of times they even have where these apply for my seasoned seniors where you did not have to file any type of taxes at all. So 
I don't know for those that are in Colorado, like this was just new to me because I had never seen where you can get a food tax rebate. In most states, like let's just keep it real, they don't pay taxes on their food anymore anyway, but if you do, then they're trying to give you some of your money back. Now in Idaho, they have a grocery credit refund that is available as well and you are not required to file taxes. So in Idaho, if you spent money on groceries during the like 2023 season, then there may be money that's waiting for you. Now they haven't opened their application just yet, but they usually open it around the summertime and you are not required to file taxes in the state at all. You can receive $100 or $120 if you are 65 or older and it is part of the refund. So I think they said like last tax season or last year, 115,000 residents who did not file taxes in Idaho, they still received that credit refund. And so the Idaho Tax Commission, they are urging residents to sign up, especially if you are a senior, because there's not like a lot of senior citizen um, programs on there. And then they know that you might not have the income as well to file taxes. So this is once again, a grocery credit refund as well. Um, I was able to find another option um, well, first with Idaho, they have two different forms. They, it just depends on your age to see like if you're qualified for their grocery credit as well. Then don't forget in North Carolina, I had found where there's a food program that offers $500 for older adults. So all my people that are 60 years old or older, then you can find relief as well. They have this region-wide food assistance program. Now, the only thing I hate about this one in North Carolina it's with the Eastern Carolina Council Area Agency. They give you $500 reimbursement for your food, but you have to have like your receipts and everything and you have to submit all that to get reimbursed for it. They do not reimburse you like if you're using um, EBT cards or anything like that, but as long as you are 60 years old or older and they have like a list of cities that you must live in in North Carolina, then you would be eligible for that $500 credit. But remember... Your reimbursement is only limited to $500 per household is within the grant period. It can all be used on groceries, excluding like, you know, tobacco, beer, wine, liquor, cigarettes, those type of things, pet food items. But and then, of course, items that are bought with like your EBT cards, they cannot be reimbursed as well. But remember, for that assistance, guys, you must have your receipts for it as well. So applicants, you can provide like your driver's license information as well as like your valid store receipts to go ahead and receive that $500. And for our last one, Hawaii also has a food excise credit. So most full-time residents in Hawaii that file a tax return and you're not a dependent and you earn less than $50,000 a year for couples and $30,000 for single files, then you could qualify for their $110 food excise credit um, in Hawaii. Now, if you have additional dependents, then you can get a little bit more as well, but it just depends on what you have in your family as well as your income level. So this is what we have. I know there's a lot of states that I missed out on, but hey, I was just able to find this information. Um, let me know down below if you've heard of a food tax credit rebate or let me know if your state even still tax on food because a lot of states don't tax on food. So I guess for those states that do it, it only makes sense that they give you some type of credit back. But I was able to find some programs for my seasoned seniors. I'm also going to post another video today um, just to talk about the update on SNAP. So we do have a few updates that's coming out regarding SNAP and waiting on your money and it's going to be juicy. But this is all I have, guys. I hope you had a great weekend. I see that... Um, who won the, the, the football game? Because I was only interested in Usher's concert. Okay. <laughs> I was only interested. But no, I think big ups to Kansas City. I think they were the winners of the game. Um, so sad for the 49ers. But I was just here for Usher. I mean, I felt like a schoolgirl watching him perform last night. So let me know. What do you think of the flowers? Have a happy Valentine's Day. And um, do they need to hurry up with the child tax credit? or not like do you want your additional $200 for 
for those that filed their taxes anyway, most of them won't start receiving their refunds until around February 21st or 27th. For those that are in Michigan, you're going to have some extra money. And this is all I have. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.